In this introductory lesson to ice protection systems, we will list the systems and components that need to be protected from ice and rain, and we will list the protection methods used. In the following lessons, we will discuss the various protection systems in greater detail. The following systems and components need to be protected from ice and rain. The engine air intakes and compressor inlet guide vanes need to be protected. As do the wing leading edges, along with slats if they are fitted. On some, but not all aircraft types, the fin and tailplane leading edges are also protected. Propellers can suffer from icing and need protection. Waste water outlets and water lines in unheated parts of the fuselage will freeze up in flight any time the temperature is below zero, so they need to be heated. Any probes sticking out into the airflow, such as pitot heads and alpha probes, are susceptible to icing and need to be protected. These small components are usually electrically heated. Finally, cockpit windows need to be protected from both ice and rain. Ice protection systems normally use one of two different approaches to the problem. They are de-icing, where ice is allowed to accumulate prior to being removed, and anti-icing, where the object is to prevent ice from forming. The methods used for ice protection can be split into three groups. They are mechanical, using expanding rubber boots, thermal, with the heat being supplied by electricity, engine oil or hot air, and liquid, using freezing point depressant fluids. These methods are all examined in detail in the following lessons. That is the end of the lesson. You should now know which surfaces need ice protection. You should know that de-icing involves removing ice that has built up. And that anti-icing is used to prevent the formation of ice.